Hi everyone, it's Fiona Edgar here. So this is a quick video about an upcoming astrological alignment that is going to happen on July 31st or August 1st, depending on where you are located. So watch out for these, um, these two days. So the astrological alignment that I'm talking about is a conjunction between Uranus, the North Node and Mars. Okay, so Mars is in Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus, and so is the North Node. What could this mean? So I'm going to try and keep this brief, but Mars is the planet of warfare. When it conjuncts Uranus and the North Node, there are a couple of possibilities that we could see happening all over these couple of days. Now, um, uh, there. so I'm going to just go over them. Astrology isn't fortune telling. So I don't know exactly what is going to go down in these couple of days, but something is going to happen. It's probably likely to be quite big. So I wanted to make this video just to, to warn you. It doesn't guarantee that I hope nothing happens. Let's just clarify that. But something I feel that is quite large is coming. Now, it could involve war because Mars is the planet of war. It's not very comfortable in Taurus. So Taurus is our Earth. Now, it could be a war about territory and boundaries. Uh, there could also be issues with the food supply, uh, the economy, because all of these planets are in Taurus, which is naturally ruled by Venus. And it, it is connected to, to money uh, and the food supply and the economy. The other thing that it could be is an earthquake, because Mars... Uh, conjunct Uranus in Taurus which is like the earth is uh, quite likely to to manifest some earthquakes now I hope that I'm wrong but I would just want to say that if it was me personally I wouldn't travel on these days so the other thing is that Japan has com been coming into my head a lot lately I don't know if that has anything to do with this or whether it, there's other stuff going on that I don't know about but I just wanted to throw that in there so these events seem to be triggered by this new moon that we have coming up on the 28th. It's a new moon in Leo. It's the day that Jupiter goes retrograde. So Jupiter is in Aries. That's kind of full on warfare, the war machine, a lot of activity connected to conflict. Jupiter is connected to foreign countries. So the significance of Jupiter going retrograde is that some something that has already happened is likely to, to come up again. So some conflict or war, stuff to do with foreign countries that has already happened is likely to flare up again, right? So then we have other stuff happening here also. So that new moon in Leo is quite, is quite difficult. It's full of conflict. Now, Mercury is opposite Saturn in Aquarius and it's squared the North Node. So that means it's making a T square. OK, so Saturn is about heavy handed government stuff. It's also very so sobering type of energy. And then we've got the North Node in Taurus, which is seeking stability. But we're, it's very hard for us to get any stability. Now, on the day that this uh, triple conjunction in Taurus happens, we also have Venus square Chiron. Now, Venus is the ruler of Taurus. So it's highly significant that she's squaring Chiron on that day. So Chiron, of course, is about wounds. When Chiron is in Aries now, which is all about like the war and identity crisis and all of that. So something is going to happen on these dates. So like I said, the 31st of July into the 1st of August, it's likely that it will, whatever happens is going to take a long time to recover. I don't know exactly what it is or where it's happening. Now, I did look at a couple of charts of countries. The USA is almost, the, they're under their Pluto return at the moment. So again, Pluto is going to, in a retrograde motion, conjunct the natal Pluto within the birth chart of the United States of America. Now, we can see Pluto is about power, destruction, deconstruction, transformation, we can see what's happening in the USA uh, and also the Ukraine. I noticed that Saturn is about to conjunct the moon uh, of, of the chart again. Now, none of these are nice things. They're not pleasant. So also that new moon that happens 
uh, in Leo is going to be conjunct Chiron within the Ukraine's birth chart. Okay, so <clears throat> not really good, any good stuff. Then finally, Mars is square Saturn on August 7th. Right, so we have this full week of awful planetary stuff going on. Now, I'm not trying to scare anyone, but I firmly believe, and I, astrology, astrology should be used to tell the truth, right? So the other thing that we have is that there was a comet vis uh, visible, I believe, on the 14th or the 16th of July. So just a little while ago, uh, Comet K2. Comets have always been a bad omen. So... If you look back during the times when certain comets were visible, they seem to really coincide with like wars and stuff. For example, Halley's Comet and the 1066 disastrous war when the Normans took over uh, and they got rid of all of the, the natural Anglo-Saxon aristocracy. So they seem to foretell difficult events now we are in this cycle of the age of darkness so we have to expect all of this the thing also about the age of darkness or the kali yuga we're coming out of the kali yuga but we're still dark we're still in this period of darkness any good leader that we have is not going to be able to succeed because of the nature of this cycle now we do get out of this cycle eventually there's nothing that i can do so don't shoot the messenger but we have to not place a lot of hope on any public figures uh, in terms of like the government and things like that, because they cannot succeed. And it's likely that they're all they're all working for the same people anyway. So it's not going to make much difference. So that's basically what I just wanted to jump on and say is beware of those two days, because something is going to happen. I don't know what it is. Uh, it could be a economy, the economy tanks or something. I, I don't know. I don't know much about the economy. But Taurus is a sign that is connected to with wealth. Uranus is about shocking and unexpected events that you didn't really see coming. So when Mars is conjuncting Uranus, then it, it can be about wars, earthquakes, uh, even like any natural disasters or issues with, with air travel would be another thing to watch out for. So you will feed some of this in your personal life. Um, let's say, I really hope that I'm wrong. I'm not trying to be doom and gloom. So please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to be honest here. But let's say there is some huge event that happens halfway across the world uh, you have that ripple that if the energy affects everyone. It's highly likely that many people will experience relationship issues over this period because of Venus squaring Chiron uh, and a lot of, you know, other very strong sort of difficult to deal with energies that is happening around all in the same time. So just to let you know that, that even if you're not, affected by an event which might happen you you will feel difficulties within your life connected to power uh, finances boundaries and territories and general stuff that really isn't very nice to deal with so I do I, do, I hope that nothing really bad happens however it is an extremely likely possibility with this alignment which country is going to be affected I don't know uh, if I had time, to sit all day and look at every country's chart around the world, I would be able to tell you. I've only looked at a couple. Ukraine and the USA are definitely going to go through some stuff because their Saturn is conjunct the moon in U Ukraine, which it was when the war kind of first started. Uh, so something is being revisited here. It is quite likely that it is that or something else. I don't know. But just watch out for those two day, guys. That's all that I wanted to jump on and say. Uh, so do let me know. I don't watch the news. So if anything happens, you can leave a comment, okay? Uh, thanks, guys. Stay safe uh, and well and bye for now.